All right, so I'm working on a project right now. We've got a bunch of these sun power cabinets with the batteries, and there's a lot of people that have these already existing at their house, but they have two batteries and the cabinet can fit three. So what I've done here is I've got a sun power commission system. So it's got the hub plus, it's got the sun vault that can hold the three M0020 batteries. And I've added a third battery. It's not online, as you can see, there's no lights. These have lights. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these off. Heard everything click off. I'm going to pull this terminator plug from battery number two. I'm gonna install a cable that runs from link out there up to link in on this third battery. And then the terminator plug goes into link out of our third battery. If I can get it in single-handed, I'm sure I can. All right, then <clears throat> we have our 48 volt connections and all these exist in the cabinet already. Uh, the Cat5 should have already existed, this wire here, um, but it is just a standard Cat5 cable. So if you need to just go buy one, you can. All right, so everything's offline right now. I've got the third battery connected and then I'm gonna be monitoring it here from my laptop. I've got um, a pie down here monitoring the CAN bus. So we're just going to push one of these buttons to turn on. We have all three sets of lights are blinking. <clears throat> when the green light is solid after they go through their boot up sequence, then they're running and they're on. So you can see battery one and two are on. This one's blinking. Over here, we can see that this message 304 is doing an O2 and then all zeros. Now, that's gonna have to be an O3 because there's three batteries. Um, in addition to, it needs to send um, an o, a zero two at the very end in order to initialize that third battery so that it stays online longer than 12 hours. And we're gonna see, it should auto detect this third battery and go ahead and send the O3 message with an O2 at the very end. And then, and this, the, these messages here are the batteries transmitting, hey, there's two batteries here, hey, there's two batteries here. So it'll start transmitting, hey, there's three batteries here. So we'll wait here for a second and show that come across. All right, so there's the O3. I can see that this light is now solid green along with the other two. So this battery is online. What I've got highlighted here shows the O2 at the end, which is what happened the very first time that I put the third battery in because apparently the Hub Plus knows if a battery has not been commissioned yet and only sends that O2 at the end if it needs to. So since I was recording at the second time putting the battery in, battery was already commissioned, didn't send the O2. So it did say, hey, there's three batteries now. It didn't say, hey, there's a third battery and that third battery hadn't been commissioned. It's cool that those smarts are built in, um, but yeah, this is the highlighted line that shows Yes, there's three batteries, and also you should commission the third one. Um, but regardless, it seems like a very plug and play thing. What I don't know is from the My Sun Power app, is it now going to show 19 and a half kilowatt hours for this cabinet, or is it still going to be the 13 kilowatt hours in the cabinet with the two batteries? It could be to have all the metrics correct that you would have to recommission the system, which I believe means having an installer at the site with the Sun Power Sun Connect app to be able to recommission the system, relearn everything. Um, but we're gonna find out about that soon. I'm sure I'll have another update video as I hear from some customers that have installed these batteries and whether it works or not. Um, now the battery's online, the, the, the light is on, um, it's charging and discharging. So functionally speaking, it's there. Um, and I've got some of these batteries available. So if you wanna be able to buy one, pop it into your cabinet. Obviously, if you're under warranty, would you want to be able to, would you want to do this, you know, out, and it probably would hurt your warranty. Um, but I know with a lot of the sun power systems out there, you know, they're not really under warranty anymore because sun power doesn't exist anymore. So obviously be careful if you are under SunStrong, you're under a lease or you're on a loan where there is still a warranty. Cause I hear there might be the case for that. Maybe not a warranty, but maybe there's service. I don't know. It's all kind of up in the air anyway. For a limited time, I do have batteries available for people that want to expand their system. 
and maybe they weren't able to get a third battery when it was initially installed. 